Hi guys, how are you? I'm Chetra and today I'm going to talk about communication in an organizational setting. You know, communication, especially business communication is very much important. So how it preferably happens or how it works inside organization, inside any company or you know, institution. So uh, there are so many messages information and ideas that follow from uh, one person to another and uh, that should be managed properly when we talk about uh, you know communication inside uh, in an organizational setting uh, we need to know uh, there are uh, you know various types of uh, communication so the first one is formal communication you know formal communication is defined by the relationship between the various job positions in an organization. There are different uh, you know, people, personalities and different posts and it is mainly guided by the relationship between them and among the people. This uh, formal communication takes place through the formal channels of organizational structures. It can be upward or downward but it is formally uh, you know, transmitted and uh, communicated uh, formally. So uh, another type, another major type is informal communication, which takes place in almost every organization. And it is also very important, even inside organization, because it tries to minimize the limitations and drawbacks of formal communications. Uh, and uh, this informal communication takes place in, uh, you know, informal settings. For example, the, the people or the, you know, the workers uh, talk or communicate about the situation, about the issues and about the problems of the organization. It might be in canteen, at home or in other informal setting and way. And uh, this informal type of communication is mainly handled by social media. Nowadays, you know, the power of social media is very important. And people, uh, you know, uh, they communicate through social media about uh, their organization, about the people, about the issues and problems, about the opportunities, and so on. And it also helps uh, to the, uh, you know, the, the planner or the manager who makes the policy and plan in the top level. And they can get the information and idea uh, and they can fulfill their, you know, the uh, information gap from this inform uh, informal type of communication. So uh, this communication inside an organization can be, uh, you know, categorized as uh, upward communication, which is mainly done from a subordinate to a superior, or from the worker to the boss. And downward communication is... Uh, the another type of communication inside an organization that is from manager to subordinate, manager to his subordinate. And uh, sometimes there might be horizontal type of communication. It might be between the colleagues and peers and between the, you know, the, the same level people are in, you know, the, uh, the department to department and so on. And this downward uh, communication is best uh, you know, sweet it of an organization where the lines of authority runs distinctly downward. You know, its main objective include to convey executive decisions and transmit work-related information that helps employees do their jobs. You know, something like policies and the, the, the rules and regulations and some new routines from the you know, top level to the, uh, you know, uh, their subordinate is mainly uh, done through this downward type of communication. And uh, when we talk about a part of communication, you know, it provides feedback on how well the organization is functioning, as well as on how well the subordinates have understood the downward communications. You know, it happens something like that. In the uh, beginning, there is the, you know, the uh, downward communication in which the managers and leaders, you know, they make the policies, they make the, you know, formats and rules and regulation and it is applied to the, you know, the uh, subordinates and to the, you know, junior post. And if they understand or not, so for, uh, to find out these uh, situations, uh, we need to have upward communication. Upward communication supports the leaders and managers to understand how, um, you know, the, their subordinate, how their workers have been 
uh, understanding and utilizing the messages and information through this type of communication. And to summarize, you know, we can say that upward communication provides insight to the problems. Upward communication really provides the insight to the problems and opportunities, trend and performance, and thus it allows executive to solve the problems and make intelligent decisions. You know, upward communication really supports the leaders to understand what is going on inside their companies, inside their organization, and so on. So through that, they can, you know, uh, understand, internalize the problems and issues and challenges of their organization and can settle down their problems properly. And, uh, you know, uh, horizontal communication also uh, facilitates communication between interdependent units and departments to help employees share information, coordinate tasks, and solve various organizational problems. That is to say, you know, uh, horizontal communication is very important uh, when we communicate with the equal levels, for example, department to department, institution to institution, and uh, section to section, and so on. And this is helpful to circulate this message. And to conclude, the, uh, all these ideas, we can say a parallel communication network is the mirrors, or it mirrors the company's organizational structures. Formal communication, uh, you know, uh, networks really plays a vital role to reflect the organizational structures. And informal communication uh, by using social media is also play a very increasingly important role uh, to uh, develop uh, the proper communication between the uh, you know, subordinate and their uh, leaders. Thank you guys, thank you for watching this video and if you uh, think this video is important for you, uh, you can subscribe our channels and provide us the constructive suggestions so that we can utilize it and make, uh, try to make the video more uh, effective to you.